At the north end of Butte Street sits a public dock, which looks out at, among other things, the floating fuel station. And while thousands of people every day use the seawall, almost no one ventures out here. That might change, given the right space. Uh, uh, a type of space that provides an opportunity for, for you know, the full array of the citizens of the, of the community to, to engage with the water, to touch the water. The Coal Harbor deck is the brainchild of HCMA architecture and design. Daryl Condon saw similar structures all over Scandinavia and thought this would be the perfect spot for something similar. Not quite pool, not quite park, but all public space. And the early reviews are enthusiastic. Well, I think it's a fantastic idea and uh, connecting us back to the water, which uh, I think we've become somewhat disconnected to. While the Butte Street dock is an easily accessible spot, it's in the middle of a working harbor, right next to the seaplane dock, with an alarming amount of flotsam. I'd have some concerns about the quality of the water though around here, just how good it is to be swimming in. Well, I wouldn't want to go swimming in this water to start with because I'm sure it's not clean. Is it, is it safe to swim here? <laughs> it is actually safe to swim in Coal Harbor. Water quality usually not an issue. Water temperature, however, might be. The architects gave it a try last fall. This is an idea that we've put forward. It, you know, there, there's, no, there's no client behind this, there's no money uh, behind this. We're hoping that through, through conversations that we're kickstarting with, with, with the community that support will build. Maybe Coal Harbor isn't the right fit, but Vancouver has lots of coastline to find the perfect spot. And it's not like this city hasn't seen this sort of thing before. What's old is new again. Aaron MacArthur, Global News.